Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. Now in today's video, I'll be going through five poisonous fish from around the world. But before we get into the video, I think I just need to point out the difference between poison and venom. As venom needs to be actively injected via a bite or a sting, whereas poison is a toxin that gets into the body via swallowing, inhaling, or absorbing through the skin. So most snakes are venomous and not poisonous, and animals such as dart frogs are poisonous but not venomous. And in some cases, you can actually drink venom with no ill effects. But now that's out of the way, we'll move on to the fish. And we'll start off with the most famous poisonous fish in the world, the Takifugu pufferfish. Now Takifugu is actually a genus of pufferfish, and there are many species belonging to this genus. But these species are normally native to the salt and brackish waters of the northwest Pacific. And in these waters, they live a very normal pufferfish life, as they mainly feed on algae, mollusks, invertebrates, and sometimes crustaceans. And like many other pufferfish species, they are able to inflate their bodies several times its normal size to help protect themselves from predators. But also like many other pufferfish species, they are toxic, as they contain lethal amounts of the poison tetrodotoxin in their internal organs. And this toxin can be 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. And if you were to eat a toxic part of the Takifugu pufferfish, there is no known antidote. And this toxin paralyzes the muscles while the victim stays fully conscious. And eventually the poisoned victim is unable to breathe and eventually dies from asphyxiation. But despite this, Fugu pufferfish is a delicacy in Japan. And if you walk the streets of Tokyo, you're more than likely to see a few pufferfish in restaurant windows. But because of the danger, to be able to serve fugu pufferfish, you must go under extensive training, which can last up to three years. But as this fish is so poisonous, the smallest mistake in preparation can be fatal. And even though only the best trained chefs are able to serve fugu pufferfish, there are still several cases of fugu poisoning each year. So the taki fugu pufferfish is definitely the most toxic fish in the world. But for our next species, we'll head to the deep depths of the ocean, as we have the orange ruffy. Now this species is normally found at 180 to 1,800 meters below the surface. And in these deep waters, the orange ruffy feeds on other fish, such as members of the butterfly fish and lantern fish families. But they are quite partial to a squid too, as they make up around 20% of their diet. And it might surprise you that the orange ruffy is on this list, as it's actually a popular food fish. And if you were to take a bite out of an orange ruffy, you're almost certainly going to be okay. But to find out why it is on this list, we need to dive a little deeper into its lifestyle. As it's found in very cold water with a temperature around 3 to 9 degrees Celsius. And as it's a deep sea fish, life moves a little slower for the orange ruffy. And as they live at a slower pace, they can live to a grand old age of around 200. But predatory fish with very long lifespans tend to build up a dangerous amount of mercury in their bodies. And this is what can make the orange ruffy a very dangerous fish to eat. As if you were to eat one serving of orange ruffy a month, you should be completely fine. But scientists recommend that you don't have more than two servings every month. As if you're exposed to high amounts of mercury, it can actually damage your brain and central nervous system. As some of the symptoms of mercury poisoning are loss of coordination, memory troubles, and permanent kidney and brain damage. And it is especially dangerous for pregnant women as the toxin can interfere with the normal development of an unborn baby. But as I said, if you limit yourself to a few servings a month, you'll be completely fine. But because of their slow growth and reproductive rates, they are very susceptible to overfishing. So because of this, there are limits for how many orange ruffy a fisherman can keep, and the numbers are always monitored. So even though it's nowhere near as toxic as the fugu puffer fish, it still has the potential to be quite dangerous. But for our next species, we'll head over to the tropical and temperate oceans, as we have the oil fish. Now the oil fish is a species of snake mackerel, and they're usually found at depths from around 100 to 800 meters. And in these waters, they mainly feed on other fish, such as the blackjack and rainbow runners. And feeding on such a rich diet, they can reach a pretty large size, as they max out at around 3 meters, or nearly 10 feet, and can weigh up to 63 kilograms, or around 140 pounds. And the meat from an oil fish is definitely for an acquired taste, as the flesh has an oil content of around 25%, and the oil actually consists of wax esters. And these wax esters cannot be digested like edible oils, but you'll be happy to know if you accidentally eat an oil fish, you aren't going to die. As the oil from the oil fish can't be digested, it usually has a laxative effect, with most people experiencing abdominal cramps, vomiting, and diarrhea. And this led to controversy in Hong Kong, as Hong Kong's park and shop supermarket was selling oil fish as codfish, 
and consumers ate the fish believing it to be cod and many suffered oily diarrhea as a result. This story then hit the news and media organisations and a total of 14 complaints were filed against the supermarket. Park and Chop was eventually fined 45,000 Hong Kong dollars, which is around 5,800 US dollars, after pleading guilty to nine counts of misrepresentation of products. So although this fish isn't likely to kill you, it can lead to a day that you'll want to forget. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans, as we have trunkfish. Now there are many different species of trunkfish that come in all different shapes and sizes, but trunkfish are actually close relatives to pufferfish and filefishes, and as we know already, most pufferfish are toxic. Now trunkfish are known for their hexagonal or honeycomb patterns on their skin and these honeycomb patterns are actually plate-like scales and they are fused together into a solid carapace and this carapace offers great protection from other predators but it's not the only layer of defence that they have as the trunkfish can excrete a toxic mucus and this acts like a chemical defence mechanism as the trunkfish normally excretes this toxin when it is threatened or stressed this toxin then dissolves in the water and proves fatal to most other fish species as fish as large as nurse sharks can die as a result of eating a trunkfish. But luckily for divers, this toxin is only dangerous when ingested, and because there isn't a lot of meat on a trunkfish, most people don't try and eat them. But there has been a few cases where people have done so, and this toxin can indeed prove fatal. But trunkfish are definitely a problem in marine aquariums, as many people love to keep this pretty species, but if it becomes stressed, it can kill everything else in the tank. So although it's not as toxic as its close relative, it must be very scary to other fish. And for our last toxic fish on this list, we have the moray eel. Now moray eels are some of the most diverse and interesting creatures in our oceans, with the largest moray eel reaching around 3 metres or 9.8 feet long, and the smallest only reaching around 12 inches long. And each moray eel species can look completely different to the next. Some have very blunt teeth which are used to crush crabs, and some have more spiky pointed teeth which are used to catch fish. And to catch these prey items they have very specialised jaws, as they actually have two sets, one in their mouth and one in their throats. The second set of jaws comes forward to grab the prey once it's been captured. But none of this explains why the moray eel is toxic. And the danger actually lies in their organs, as moray eels accumulate very high segurotoxin levels. This toxin cannot be smelled or tasted, and can also not be destroyed by cooking. The symptoms normally occur one to three hours after ingesting the toxin, and this normally starts off with a numbness of the extremities, such as your mouth and lips, which eventually leads to muscle and joint aches, and in the worst cases can cause paralysis and even cardiac arrest. But despite this, if you stay away from the organs, moray eels can be safe to eat, and even though it doesn't look very tasty, it is a delicacy in many countries. So as long as you stay away from the organs, this fish should be safe to eat. But that's about it for this video. If you know of any other fish that are poisonous, let me know down in the comments below, and I might make a part two to this video. But thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, and until next time, goodbye.